Hey Mountain Kids, this is Rob Wade with a little more outdoor core and this is for you grade level quattro four. All right, so I just did a Zoom with a fourth grade class and it went great, but it was hard to see some things. So I thought I would um, give it a go on a video. So I was down at my creek, Massey Creek here next to my house and I took my D net. Uh, you can see that this is a net that is shaped like a, like a big capital letter D. And I put that at the bottom of the creek and I rubbed the rocks in front of it and all the macroinvertebrates floated down through the bottom of the net and then I had a little sample. And then I came on over here and I put them into a little bucket and I'm gonna zoom in on some of these guys so that you can see them. Let's see, gotta do this well. Where are we? Um, there we go. So we can look at a few of the insects around here. This guy right here is a little Helgramite. Where'd he go? There he is. He's a little Helgramite, which is, uh, he's a Dobson fly larva, which means he's kind of in a wormy, um, he has complete metamorphosis. He's got his own little stage, but he's a hunter. He's a predator. Uh, macroinvertebrate while he is a larva. You see other other things floating around in there while we look at this bigger guy. But he is on the hunt right now and he's going to grow into a Dobson fly um, when he's all grown up. But in the meantime, he's in this larval form and he's around doing his hunting and looking around at stuff. Um... We've got a couple of other insects in here I'd love to see. Let's see if we can focus in over here. Um, where are we? Right there. That is a mayfly nymph. Again, nymphs have incomplete metamorphosis, and there's another one right next to it. There's this guy right here, and then there's another one up above him. They both have these three little tails that helps you to know. Not always that it's a mayfly, but it's a good indicator. And so these little guys are cruising around in here as well. So mayfly nymphs. And the one thing that's great to know is you can go down to a creek and you can take the temperature and you can um, do a bunch of chemical tests to see um, if there's um, enough oxygen in the water and other things like what the pH of the water is, like how acid or alkaline it is. But uh, scientists have found that instead of doing a bunch of chemical tests, you can just go down and see what's living in the creek to know if the creek is healthy. Because these mayfly nymphs could not live in this water unless it was cold and clean. Unless there was lots of oxygen, the temperature was low, and oh, look at that cool little insect. I don't even know what that is. That little red beetle. That's pretty dang cool. I need to figure out what he is. I don't know what he is. But back to the mayfly. This will let you know that it's got a good balanced pH. It's not too acid or alkaline. It's got lots of oxygen and it's cold. Meaning that water is probably around 50 degrees. Um, and especially right now with the snow melt. So anyway, oh and here I just see another guy cruising around. I want to get Oh, there he is. There you go. Awesome. Now, this one also with three tails. This is also a mayfly. Looks a little bit like a stonefly. At least its body is buffed out a little bit more like a stonefly. But this one particularly, this is also a little mayfly. And I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> mayfly or stonefly. But the main point is that... Uh, it would not live in this water unless it was cold and clean and there was good oxygen. So I don't have to run chemical tests. You don't have to have any of that stuff. You just have to go over and turn over rocks, explore what's in there. And, uh, and you know, it's nothing fancy. All you have to do is go and go to a creek, pull a rock out, turn it over. And most likely you're going to find at least one of these guys on here. What I did is I picked these up. I used my D-net, okay, but I also picked up some rocks and I just washed them with water and they rinsed off into this bucket. So anyway, hopefully uh, you've learned a few things by being out here in this little plastic container. 
I want to finish with an insect. So let's see if I can, oh, there we go. There we go. I'll have to double check with this guy. Looks like a mayfly. You see him pumping his gills? That's because he's a little oxygen deprived because I took this water out of the creek and it's not moving anymore. So um, you can see how different this one looks than this other one right here. Just to compare. How are they the same? How are they different? A little mayfly guy and um, little mayfly guy. Mayfly nymphs with incomplete metamorphosis. All right. Well, go out there. Happy hunting. Hope you find some really cool macro invertebrates, which means macro means big enough to see. Invertebrate means it doesn't have a backbone. Um, it has a skeleton on the outside called an exoskeleton. And... Uh, and these guys, in this stage of their life, they all live on the bottom of the creek, which they call them benthic macro invertebrates. Anyway, a lot of vocabulary, but it just helps you talk about these things. Uh, get out there, have fun, see what you can discover, mountain kids. Um, it's a great, great, beautiful world we live here in the mountains. Take care.